I don't know if we're going to be able to match the blood and guts and glory that was Invicta FC18, but honestly, looking through this card, I think we have a decent chance. Yeah, there's some really exciting matchups, some new faces, some old faces, some really intriguing matchups. I'm very excited to break down this card and see what happens. Okay, let's get started with Tiffany Van Sos and Kaylin Schwartz. This is a really interesting fight. Tell, tell the fans a little bit about the background between these two and why this 0-0 versus 0-0 fight is so far up on the card. Absolutely. So Tiffany Van Sos, uh, extensive kickboxing background. She's competed for Glory Kickboxing as well as being a two division champion for the Lion Fights organization, one of the biggest kickboxing organizations in the world. Uh, she brings some nasty knees, nasty elbows, some really devastating striking combinations. Kaylin Schwartz is no joke though. She is 6-0 as an amateur, uh, has a collegiate wrestling background, is also the king of the cage uh, champion as well. So here you're looking at a traditional striker versus grappler matchup, so I'm excited to see what happens with that. Caitlin's obviously going to be looking for the takedown, Tiffany's going to look to keep it standing, so we'll see what happens. You know, it's easy to assume in these situations that the fighter coming into MMA who's been so dominant in another sport will automatically just run through the competition, but we saw the opposite happen when Chris Cyborg stepped outside of MMA and took her, her kickboxing fight and actually lost. Absolutely, yeah, it's, you just never know what's gonna happen. And that's what's great about this sport is you don't know what Kaylin Schwartz has been doing. You don't know what she's been doing, how she's been, in, been improving in the off season. Uh, Tiffany's been doing kickboxing her whole life, you know, so we don't know what's gonna happen if she gets put on her back in, in a jiu-jitsu or a wrestling situation. So that's what makes this sport great and that's what makes this matchup great. Okay, moving on up the card, India's undefeated Manjeet Kolikar will be taking on Kalina Medeiros in a strawweight matchup. Certainly not giving her an easy fight in Kalina Medeiros, her first time here at Invicta. No, Medeiros is very tough. Uh, she's a very diverse fighter. She has BJJ purple belt, has some wins by knockout, uh, knocking out Stephanie Egink. Uh, she's very experienced with 11 professional fights. Very, very tough matchup for your first fight in Invicta. Uh, that being said, Kolaker is 9-0, undefeated with a pretty diverse group of finishes. She has some decisions, some knockouts, and some submissions as well. So I'm excited to see how she comes in and makes her debut in the Invicta cage. Well, one fighter with more than a full camp at this point is Irene Aldana. She was originally scheduled to fight on the last card. Her opponent had to be taken off the card because of visa issues. And we haven't seen Faith Vanduin since she met Chris Cyborg in the cage and things did not go her way, but this is a really interesting matchup. Yeah, I think so as well. Uh, I mean, Aldana's looking to solidify her position and get back to Tanya Evinger, who she, she lost to, but she's looking to get back in that, in that title contention where Faith Van Duen is dropping weight classes for the first time and also looking to solidify herself in that position as well. So I think both these girls are really trying to get to that, that title shot with Tanya Evinger, and I think this is a really good matchup to see where they are in the division. This fight, in my opinion, has fight of the night written all over it. Both of these ladies bring absolute heat with their hands. I'm excited to see who gets it done. All right, next we drop down to my personal favorite weight class, the Adam Weight Division. Maybe not so much of the uh, knockout potential, but man, the pace is incredible. We have Ayaka Hamasaki uh, taking on Jin Yu Fry for the Adam Weight title. Fry brings some really technical kickboxing to the table with only one loss on her record. Uh, my guess is she's gonna look to keep this fight standing whereas Hamasaki is gonna to look to use her uh, judo background. She's a judo black belt. She's gonna to look to tie this up, put it in the clinch, make it ugly, put her on the fence, po uh, possibly get this fight to the ground and look to work some ground and pound, keep it ugly, keep it gritty, and really work that style into there. So I'm really excited to see what type of matchup this is and, and who's able to keep that distance, who's able to close the distance, and then see where they go from there. Well, it may end up being a five round fight, but this is a fight where you're gonna to wanna to put your phone away, not be texting people back because the pace of these Adam Weight fights, Absolutely. you're gonna miss 10 strikes if you're replying to someone. So Absolutely. I'm excited about it. Yet another fighter looking to make her first title defense is Brazil's Jennifer Maia. Now we last saw her face off with Porto in one of the most epic Invicta battles we've seen up there with the likes of Young versus Smith. It was absolutely incredible. But she's gonna be facing Roxanne Mataferi. Roxanne has been waiting in the wings for years now, ready to cement her legacy, excited to get that title shot, that interim title shot, finally. Yeah, to me, this is just an awesome fight. Uh, Mataferi versus Maya, this is the battle of the veterans. If you look up the list of the people that these two have fought, it is just a who's who and anybody in this weight class. They have fought everybody, every killer in this weight class. These girls have fought them. And I'm super excited to see which one of these girls really steps up and wants to, to cement their legacy within the Invicta organization. Because this fight has so much uh, on the line, I feel like, just from a personal level of these two girls. And uh, I think we're gonna see the best of each athlete in this fight. Both of these two ladies, veterans of women's MMA, both looking to cement their legacy. We'll see who gets it done. 
You're not going to want to miss a minute of this action. Tune in live on Fight Pass at 7 p.m. Central. Also going down live here in Kansas City at the Scottish Rite Temple. Tickets on TicketFly.com. For Invicta FC, I'm Laura Sanko. He's James Krause. We'll see you guys next time.